my channel so in today's video as you can see by the title I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different I thought I would turn myself into a k-pop star today now this video is of course just for fun I wanted to see if I could recreate a typical k-pop sort of look for those of you who don't know I do actually really enjoy listening to k-pop music I never really mention or talk about it on any of my social medias but I grew up listening to k-pop I used to love all of the OG k-pop groups like shiny FX I used to love girls generation and I still really really enjoy listening to those bands but there's definitely a lot of new ones on the scene so today I thought I would try and recreate a look from one of my favorite current bands which is Blackpink. I'm gonna be trying to recreate Jisoo's look. I don't know if I'm pronouncing her name wrong. I'm really sorry if I am but let me know which one of the members from Blackpink is your favorite. I really like Jisoo's style. So we're trying so we're gonna be trying to recreate her look today. Now this video is also in collaboration with Glossy Box. They have very kindly sponsored this video. So this month Glossy Box has released two different boxes to celebrate spring. They've come out with the fruity and also the floral box and inside both of these boxes you get 50 pounds worth of product but with my discount code Glossy Rock you can actually purchase them for only six pounds, which is so cool. So these are what the boxes look like and honestly the packaging is goals. I love it so much. It's so like girly and really really spring-like and inside when you open it up it looks like oh <laughs> a leaflet has just fallen out. Inside you get a little leaflet that says everything about all the products inside. You also get this really really amazingly wrapped package and it's got a ribbon. It's got a ribbon guys. I haven't even opened this yet because I wanted to do it on camera. Let's do this. Oh my god! How adorable is this? So you get five different products inside. So let's have a little quick look what's in here. So the first thing I have in here is the body butter from the brand Sopa Dupa. It's a zesty lemon body butter with soothing shea and cocoa butter. Oh my god, that smells insane. We also have the original source water infusion apple and lemon shower gel. I am so excited to try this. I love these shower gels so much and apple is like the best shower gel smell ever. We then have a natural fusions chia seed and argan oil hair mask, which looks like this. It's like a little packet. Next we have a fragrance, which I'm very excited about. This one is called Your One in a Melon. Oh, this is cute. Oh my god, that smells so sweet. I love it already. We then have a 30ml version of the Dr. Botanicals Pomegranate Superfood Regenerating Sleeping Mask, which looks so cute. The packaging is honestly everything. And lastly, we have the Dr. Pawpaw Multi-Purpose Soothing Balm. This is for lips, cheeks, and cosmetic finishing with a hint of tint. It's also fragrance-free and cruelty-free and vegan. So I'm definitely gonna be using this for today's look. And then in the second box, which is the floral version, you get all of the same products. However, two of them are different scents it's the shower gel this one is actually in raspberry and rose water sort of scent and then you also get the fragrance but again in a different scent this one is called let your dreams blossom and oh my god it smells so floral and so sweet I'm loving it so if you guys want to get your hands on one of this month's glossy boxes make sure you guys check out the link down below and also don't forget to use my discount code to basically get them for only six pounds when inside all the products are worth 50 pounds which is such a saving but anyways if you guys want to see my transformation into a k-pop star then let's get on into the video okay so first things first I'm actually gonna pop in some brown contact lenses because I feel like most k-pop stars have have brown eyes whereas I've got like really bright blue eyes so I need some help with some of these contact lenses I also feel like it will make my eyes look a little bit bigger which is definitely a thing that k-pop stars like to do a lot gotta be honest with you guys I don't wear contact lenses very often so it's always really hard for me to put it in oh why is this so difficult my eyes are watering like hell Seven hours later. Okay, half an hour and many tears later, my contacts are finally in. I honestly feel like I look like a different person with brown eyes. So now moving on to my K-pop inspired look. I'm gonna basically focus on my skin first. I feel like K-pop stars have a very religious skincare routine because they obviously look amazing. They have such perfect skin. So I'm gonna try and basically do a little bit more than I usually would before my everyday makeup today. To achieve that really youthful and hydrated skin look, I'm gonna use this MAC 
cream. This is called the Lightful C Plus Coral Grass Moisture Cream. So you're meant to use this before foundation and it's supposed to give you like a really hydrated and really glowy sort of skin. So I'm just gonna apply that all over the face cause God knows I need it. <laughs> My skin's been pretty dry recently so I've been trying to put as much moisture into it as possible. So I'm just going to gently rub that into the skin. I'm gonna go in a step further with the skin prep. I'm actually gonna use my Body Shop Vitamin C Skin Reviver. This is an instant smoother. So it kind of acts like a primer. It fills all the pores. So I'm just gonna kind of apply it into my T-zone. Also a little bit onto my inner cheeks. And this gives a really super flawless finish to your skin and it makes it so ready for any foundation or concealer to go over the top. Now moving on to foundation, I'm gonna use the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. This is actually a shade lighter than my natural skin tone just because I feel like Korean pop stars like to have that really super pale sort of look to their skin. So I'm gonna try and replicate that as well. And also this foundation is great for this look because it kind of has like a satin sort of finish to it. I wouldn't say it's super matte, but I wouldn't say it's like really, really glowy. It's kind of like the perfect balance in between. So I'm just gonna pop that all over my face. And now I'm just gonna blend this out into the skin with a flat brush just to get that super even base. To be honest, I'm looking pretty pale these days. So this actually kind of matches me pretty well. I'm now gonna move on to concealer to really highlight and brighten any areas of my face that may be looking a little bit dull. So for this, I'm gonna use the NARS concealer. This is in the shade Light One. Now this is a really creamy concealer, which is why I think this is gonna be perfect for this look because we don't wanna use anything that's overly matte. We still wanna maintain that glowiness and hydration in the face. I'm now gonna take a little blending brush and just buff that into the skin to make sure that it blends into the foundation nicely. I'm now gonna take this Laura Mercier translucent powder just to set everything into place, just a tad. We don't wanna go overboard with the powder because again, I still wanna maintain that glowy skin, but we definitely don't want the concealer to smudge and budge and also crease because obviously that's not the kind of look we're going for. We don't want any creasing or any imperfections on the skin. So now that my base is set, I'm gonna try and add some color back into my face with some blush. So I'm gonna try and recreate this look right here that Jisoo has worn. I really, really like this look. I think it's very natural, very pretty, and very girly, so I'm gonna try and recreate that for today's video. So first I'm gonna take this blusher from MAG, this is in shade Bubbles Please, and I'm just going to basically pop that to the apples of my cheeks. I noticed that K-pop stars don't wear too much contour. I don't think it's very prominent in the Korean culture to contour as much, so I'm just going to be applying some blusher today and I'll be leaving it at that, which is definitely really weird for me because I wear contour pretty much every day, so just to leave it at blush is kind of weird. Her blush is pretty prominent in this look so I'm gonna try and kind of build up the pigmentation but still make it look pretty natural. I actually really like that. I feel like I should wear blusher a little bit more pigmented from now on because I think it looks really cute. Next up I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows. They're already a little bit filled in but I definitely want to change the shape a little bit just to kind of match the shape that Korean pop stars tend to have. The brows are usually very straight and very thick and youthful whereas mine are quite angled so I'm gonna try and basically make them a little bit straighter than I usually would have them. For my brows today, I'm gonna to be using my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. This is in shade four, and I'm just going to be dragging my brow a little bit lower than usual. I don't actually have hairs below my brow, but I'm just gonna basically try and replicate hair-like strokes, just so that my brows look a little bit more fuller and a lot more straighter. I feel like it's not exactly straight, but it's definitely a lot straighter than this one, so we're gonna go with it. Okay, so I feel like my brows look a lot straighter. They look kind of crazy and really thick. However, I do think that they definitely look a lot closer to Jissy's brows now than they did before. Now, I know I said I wasn't gonna contour in this video. However, I do think that I should kind of contour around the circumference of my face just to kind of help with the illusion that my face is a lot more slender and a lot more pointy in the chin. So for this, I'm gonna take my Revolution Ultra Contour Palette and using the middle shade, I'm just going to basically chisel out 
my jaw and kind of make it a little bit more pointy and sharp. Jisoo's face is definitely a little bit more slender than mine, so that is why I'm going to be doing this step. Now for the eye makeup, I'm actually going to be using the Too Faced Sugar and Peach Wet and Dry Face and Eye Palette. Just because in the makeup look that I'm trying to recreate, I feel like she's wearing a very soft peachy pink sort of look and these shades are literally perfect for it. So first up, I'm going to take the shade Peach Pop and just pick that up on a little packing brush like so. And I'm just going to apply that to the very top and bottom lash line, really keeping it quite close to the lash line itself. By the way guys, this palette smells incredible. I literally love it so much. I'm also going to apply that to my bottom lash line as well and kind of smudge it and smoke it out. Once I've packed on the color, I'm now going to basically try and blend it out just a little bit upwards towards my brow bone, but I'm still keeping the shadow on the actual lid rather than blending it into the crease. I'm then going to go over the pink with this color right here, which is called Sugared Peach, and I'm doing the exact same thing. I'm just going to go over that color and kind of keep it really close to the lash line. Next step is to replicate Jisoo's eyeliner. I'm gonna go for something a little bit softer than black. I'm just gonna use a brown shadow and I'm gonna use the one from the Revolution X Soap palette. The one I'm using is called Brownies and I'm just picking that up on a little angled brush. I'm gonna try and keep this line super thin and as close to the lash line as possible. I'm also gonna angle the liner downwards as opposed to upwards just to kind of try and replicate the same shape that Jisoo's eyes are. I'm also then going to take the shade Brownies and I'm going to pick that up on a little buffer brush and I'm just going to kind of buff that onto my lower lash line and connect it to the liner that we've just created. I'm now going to take a white coal liner and run this along my lower lash line. The one I'm using is the Kat Von D Cake Pencil. This eyeliner is really, really creamy and really comfortable to apply to the lower lash line. I'm now just going to curl my lashes to get the most potential out of them because we're not going to be applying any lashes today. I feel like I want this look to be super natural and in the photo it seems that Jisoo isn't actually wearing any lashes at all. And the mascara of choice today is the Maybelline Total Temptation. I haven't actually used this in a hot minute but I remember this being a really good mascara. So I'm just gonna apply a couple of coats of this onto my lashes and now lastly for the lips I'm gonna go for something super super k-pop like I'm gonna go for a bit of an ombre sort of lip and for this the tint from the glossy box is gonna be perfect So I'm just gonna dab a little bit of that product onto my finger It's kind of got like a pink tint to it. So it's gonna be really really good to work with I'm just gonna apply that to the center of my lip and then I'm gonna blend out the edges and make it kind of like a gradient. So now that my makeup look is complete, it's now time to pop on the black wig and also the outfit that I tried to recreate from the music video. Did it, did it, did it. I will see you guys in a second. And this is the finished look inspired by Jisoo from Blackpink. I love this look so much. This is inspired by one of her outfits from the music video. It did it, did it, did it. I hope I said that right. I've gotta say the outfit is pretty much on point. It is so, so close to what she actually wore in the music music video so I'm pretty chuffed with myself but I've got to say the only thing I really don't like about this look is this wig I couldn't find any better wig to fit this look and this is the only black wig I actually had that kind of had like a side parting type of thing so please don't judge the wig too much I tried I'm pretty chuffed with how the whole thing turned out I love the makeup and I really like the outfit too it's definitely very different from my usual style and it's definitely really fun to try now wouldn't it be great if to finish this video off I could learn the whole routine Routine to the music video, but let's be honest. That's never gonna happen. I cannot dance to save my life But it was definitely an experience to transform myself into a k-pop star So that is the end of my k-pop star transformation This is the final look and I actually kind of like it But the only thing I don't like is this wig. It really doesn't do it just do justice It doesn't really look like her hair, but I had to do with what I had I just thought I'd do something a little bit different I really love k-pop and I love the fashion and the makeup So I thought I would just try and basically do a representation of that as best as I could. If you guys are K-pop lovers, let me know in the comments below what is your favorite K-pop band. I definitely feel like Blackpink is one of my favorites at the moment. They're killing the game. Also, don't forget to follow my social media if you haven't already. I'm just at Roxaurus on everything like Instagram and Twitter. But that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!